from Emmanuel and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appears. Welcome to day six of Advent Thoughts. Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. It's one of those commandments that we have a hard time with. We shouldn't God remind you wouldn't even think God would have to remind us to take a little bit of a break. And yet He does, and yet we need to be reminded. Something about our lives keeps us always moving and going and doing and running from place to place and thing to thing from work to commitments to yard work to housework to cleaning to running kids places and in this season of Christmas there's a million Christmas parties a little less this year and all kinds of stuff sometimes we have to just be reminded to slow down a little bit but honoring the Sabbath and keeping it holy isn't just about slowing down, though that's certainly part of it. It's about drawing closer to God. So on Sundays for us, normally we get up, we go to church, and we're all together there, as we were this morning, though they were here. And then we sit down as a family and have lunch, talk about what's coming up this week and visit. Then there's a little space in the afternoon for everybody to sort of just relax. Just do whatever it is that they want to do. Read a book, watch a football game, take a nap, just play. And then tonight we'll sit down together as a family and have dinner and watch a movie or something and sort of begin to turn the wheels towards back towards full speed towards next week. But on some days we try to just slow down. You gotta move too fast. You gotta make this moment last. See, because when we slow down, a funny thing happens. The volume of the world gets turned down with the speed. And that still a small voice that beats inside of us, well, if we slow down enough, maybe, just maybe, we can hear that too. So take a nap. Take a break, read a book, listen to a great piece of music, go for a walk. Give yourself permission and space to pray this morning, or pray, and relax. And listen for that still small voice of God on this, the day of the Sabbath. As you rest from your work, so that you may go forth in strength, calm, cool, and collected ready to do the work that he has given you to do in strength and courage and patience and singleness of heart. Y'all get out of here. I'm going to take my nap. I'll see you tomorrow and God bless.